forgive those behind the Nigerian Civil War, monarch urges federal government. A first-class traditional ruler in River State is a Felix Otawarikbo, has called on the federal government to make a national announce, pronouncement forgiving those that participated in the Nigerian War. Otawarikbo, who is the Eze Idu Upata in Adoha, Ahodaha, East Local Government Area of the state, made the call while speaking at the function in Port Harcourt. He said, So I am conversing that the Nigerian nation to, should make a national pronouncement to forgive those that participated in the war and allow Nigeria to move forward. The monarch wondered why a generation of Igbo race that did not participate in the civil war by, were being stigmatized by the Nigerian nation, warning that such situation could fuel insecurity in the country. Otariqua said, having listened to various national conversations on the issue of Igbo race, I want to say that the present generation of Igbos may not necessarily have participated in the war or know anything about the civil war. So it would be wrong for us as a nation to continue to stigmatize the present generation. The average young Igbo person will feel annihilated from the Nigerian nation. That alone could fuel insecurity. The traditional ruler appealed to journalists to concentrate their reported on issues in the cities alone, but to extend to rural communities to give rural dwellers a sense of belonging. He added, we cannot be discussing security in Nigeria without looking at how our leaders emerged. I equally expect journalists not to concentrate their reported on cities. They should equally cover the communities because you cannot have effective leadership without a functional followership. How many Nigerians have how many Nigerians at the rural level understand the provisions of the nineteen ninety nine constitution? Even in the even in the cities, who understands the nineteen ninety nine constitution, please? How many Nigerians at the rural communities understand the responsibilities to the nation as Nigerians? We expect members of pen of the pen profession to critically examine the dignity of Nigerians. What is the quality of the average Nigerian to what extent are citizens of the country who are in various communities carried along in the terms of government policies um have you seen the precedent that should end the arg or argument here and um, i think this news can be a bit misleading i, I don't know how can you say forgive those behind the entrance of of course it's the title which is not this man's fault of course it's the news platform and um, but i think at first it gives the impression as if egos are like the cause of the war like okay fine they wanted to leave to cut the long story short, they were they just said no, and then of course they were attacked, and there was a war. That's it. It's literally as simple as that. And again, some journalists and at the times people describe it as the, you know, Nigerian genocide instead of a war. Because again, when you say a civil war, you assume that both parties are have the, I don't want to say equal amount of strength, but in that kind of in that kind of regard, yes. Um. But then I, I think there's some parts where I agree with the man and sometimes I just didn't. Um, I, I, I think what is... I think this gives the wrong message if it's seen in the wrong way. Because he said, I am canvassing that the Nigerian nation should make a national pronouncement to forgive those that participated in the civil war and allow Nigerians to move forward. This is so insulting. I think that... If anything, there has to be a reconciliation act by the Nigerian government to the Eagles. There has not been a formal apology. Because the Eagles did nothing wrong. What did they do wrong? They wanted to leave. Wow. It is really not their right to leave. They must be held hostage in a country they don't want to belong to. What is that called? I say that time and time again. What is it called when you're held against your will? You know the word. I know the word. Fill in the blank. That's just what it is. So again, I think I, when it comes to forgiveness, I don't think... This is the Nigerian nation that has to forgive, if anything. And you say this this um set of the, the Igbo race currently are, we're not necessarily part of the war, but this is why you need history because they know their history and they know who they are. They are sure of their identity and they know they were treated or their ancestors, their parents, grandparents were treated absolutely rancid. Like they were treated so bad and they understand that and understand that you know what? That respect, we're never going to get it at all. So again, I think that the issue of forgiveness, yeah, we need to swap it around because that is not it at all. Like, you cannot say it's the Nigerian government 
that has to forgive why <laughs> why it's not it, it, the, the the statement is not in my opinion the statement is not um fully justified that's my opinion that's just it it's not fully justified um i i don't, I don't know i don't know i think it, it is a forgiveness that has to come from the Igbo people themselves but i don't think they're ready to do that um so yeah i think of course i think where i agree with him also is that he he said they should not really be profiled the current ones and be annihilated from the nigerian government and all that but then again there's so many arguments for it because again you have some you have a little percentage of them in government wanting key positions in which they're not necessarily representing it goes well but because they're just ego and they're there it's like tokenism you take you take one or two you take a very small fraction of a, of a of a marginalized people and then you you be like oh you know this proves that we're not tribalistic towards egos we have an ego person working for us that doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything and tokenism of course with the way we know and in, you know with injustice in the world we would normally use it with the examples of you know black and white um institutions where for example in, in the corporate bank to show how diverse they are they 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 take one black person they're like wow look at us look at this black staff this person is working with us therefore we are not racist it's the same thing the government is doing sad but <laughs> at this point that's it um so yeah i mean i guess I, I just think in a way it was just written and it was projected wrong i think so i think the, the man obviously had the reason of what he said um which will be mm, half half i wouldn't say it's a correct take in my opinion i even think the way the article is presented uh, how can you say forgive those behind the nigerian civil war monarch urges federal government what what no nah, i think that's just a ploy to aggravate and anger ego people because that is just so disrespectful in my opinion i am not saying again egos will have to decide for themselves how they see that news but that's literally it and then he goes into like the government and saying the tight the class and rural areas are being followed along and carried along i'm like okay fine these are very sane arguments but for an insane country it doesn't work like that um the logic is out of the window again because of how the country is set up you are forced to be like members of the country or constitute that system or you'll be eaten up that's it so again in a system like nigeria's uh we don't we don't use logical and rational thinking um behind our motives in the country because you'll be eating up it's as simple as that but what i think i don't forget to like and subscribe